Chris. Well, we've been telling you about the upcoming eclipse for nearly a year now, and the city of Toledo has been preparing for months, getting ready for what could be a major influx of tourists. Mario Dunham explains how the city is using its success with past big events to get ready for April 8th. As the eclipse approaches on April 8th, sky gazers are coming to Northwest Ohio to witness this celestial spectacle. I talked to the director of communications and marketing for the city of Toledo to see how the city is gearing up for an uptick in city tourism. Well, we're preparing um, to be able to handle however many folks decide to come to Toledo, and we sure hope that uh, we sure hope that it's a lot. The city has plans in place for the eclipses people visit Toledo. Rachel Hart shares why the city is prepared and what measures are in place to ensure its safety and operation for this historic event. Planning for April 8th is a lot like planning for any other large influx of people into uh, downtown. So we are preparing for this the same way that we would prepare for the fireworks, the same way that we prepared for the Solheim Cup. Um, what that will look like is our public safety forces really making sure that the downtown area is prepared to handle that influx of people, um, closing down roads if necessary. The city expects people to visit Toledo, but it's on the edge of the eclipse site. Hart says that the city doesn't expect the population to double, but the city expects people to visit Toledo due to its convenient location. We, we don't anticipate that our population is going to double. We are on the edge of that line of totality. So while we are a convenient place for folks to stop, I think that um, we don't anticipate having quite the surge of population that maybe some of those um, counties that are closer to that line of totality are going to see. While preparation is key for a smooth operation, Hart shares her excitement for an influx of people who might visit Toledo. Um, Imagination Station will be hosting the Mud Hens, um, the Metro Parks. Um, we're really excited about an opportunity for that influx of visitors that might not otherwise have come to Toledo. And the city's going to make sure that downtown's ready to go and putting its best foot forward.